Hey everybody, we are here for day one of Treasure Trovember. This is hosted by Kelly over at Collage Lab. Be sure and check her out. I'll try to remember to tag her in this video below. It's a month long challenge <clears throat> of building a one piece collage. I think I did an intro video for this so you guys can kind of see what, what it's all about. Um, I will say this, I'll be here every day building on this collage and I typically work pretty large on this collage, on this challenge, the last three, four years I have. But this year I'm working kind of small and it's, I've got a, what is this, maybe 12 by 12 <coughs> uh, canvas board piece that I've decided I'm going to work small. Um, <laughs> I don't want to go too small because there's 30 days of stuff I'm going to pile on this. But, um but I am working smaller than normal. So that should be interesting. So um, be sure and check out Kelly over at Collage Lab. This is a 30 day project, 30 day challenge to build one collage. So every day I'll be back to this page, um, building, adding to it. Um, I will say this, I'm fixing to go out of town. Today is Friday, November 1st. I'm fixing to be out of town on Saturday and Sunday. So, uh, Sunday night, Monday, I'll play, play a little catch-up of day two and day three. But, other than that, excuse me, I feel like I'll be here every day. So, um, today, day one prompt, Kelly threw at us um, to do a grid. Now, if you've done her Trovembers before, that's basically how she starts out with, because you're, you're building one piece, and you want to kind of start with the background. And so uh, the first prompt is to start with a grid. Um, over the years, I've done uh, square book pages. I've done square maps. Um, just anything to kind of build a grid. This year, I think I'm going to use these painty pages. And I'm going to just kind of go with it. I The reason why I like the Trovember challenge is because there's really no, there's no way to tell what you're going to end up with. This is some thick watercolor paper. So maybe what I'll do is I'll put you guys on pause. I don't know how to speed you up through this. So I haven't learned that technique yet, but I'll put you on pause while I struggle with this, and um, we'll be right back with all of our pieces, and we'll make our grid. Okay, we are back. So, that was, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit of a challenge. Um, that painty paper was so super thick, but we made it. <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to use um, Mod Podge, I think, is where I'm going with this. And we are just going to kind of really sloppily stick everybody down. <coughs> Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue everybody down with this, with our Weld Bond, because we've got this textured, um, <coughs> excuse me, textured canvas and textured watercolor paper. No rhyme or reason here. <coughs> I try to line them up fairly even. But for the most part, this is going to be covered up. Um, I think one year I painted my canvas so I didn't have the stark white. Um, I'm obviously not doing that this year. So, we'll see. And honestly, you know, I'm kind of nervous. I'll tell you right now. This painty paper is such a weird color. It's like an aqua teal color and a dark peachy color. And, of course, black and gray. So, hopefully I'm not fighting against it the whole time. Um, yeah, 
give him some glue glue. Hopefully I'm not fighting against it um, <coughs> color wise since it is such an odd color. It's very pretty. I like this background. I like the, the white, the stark white against this painty page, but, um, oh, I really hope it don't, I don't fight against it. <laughs> but, you know, <clears throat> that's kind of the cool thing about this challenge because, you know, you're working on it for 30 days and at any moment, say if she gives me the prompt of do something red, I could cover this whole page and get rid of this blue and, you know, this teal and peach color. So, I mean, that's kind of the beauty of it. is to kind of be able to change it in process, I guess. <clears throat> and the idea behind Trovember is to do just, you know, five, 10 minutes work on it in the morning, you know, or whatever, at any point in time of the day. It's probably gonna be better for me to work on it in the mornings. You know, I'm not spending a lot of time on it. I'm just kind of throwing down what I have. This was the first painty page in the stack of stuff. I knew I needed something a little thick to to make my punch work. Because, <clears throat> you know, sometimes they don't like thin paper. 1924. Hmm. Maybe that's when this painty page was created. And then I'm going to go over this with... A thing of Mod Podge, I think. This little guy that I tried to stick down with Mod Podge is not wanting to work. I don't know that this is going to be a good idea or not now that, I, now that I'm doing this. It's not wanting to stay down because I didn't... I didn't give it a full glue down. Maybe I go through and work them all down. Make my hands all nice and messy. Maybe that'll help. Maybe. <laughs> If y'all know it by now or not, but I am a messy artist. <clears throat> when it comes to painting, that's why I don't do a lot of it on camera. Because I'm pretty messy with it. Oh, this little guy down here. He is causing havoc. It's because I put Mod Podge on him first. I'm glad I decided to do the glue. Cause they'd all, I mean, they're all kind of tipping up a little bit on the edges because I didn't glue the edges really well. lathering some Mod Podge around the edges and kind of <clears throat> coaxing them to lay down. That might, this might just be like some dimension to my piece. <laughs> Which nothing says it has to be flat. I mean, I'm not worried about them coming off because I've got the, the weld bond underneath. To at least give them a good stick. I would like them for to lay flat though. I would appreciate that. I think I got this guy in the corner to lay flat finally.
Another reason why I like Trovember, this guy's crooked, but that's okay. <laughs> and he's glued down with the weld bond, so he ain't moving. See how crooked? We'll call him Crooked Carl. Um, another reason why I like Trovember is because it allows me to be messy. <laughs> um, with paints or mark making or glue or Mod Podge. I think everybody's got a pretty good layer going on. And hopefully when we come back to it tomorrow, it'll be laying fairly flat. And we can move on. Okay. I think that's what I'm going to do for now for a grid for day one, Treasure Trovember. I'll be back tomorrow, and uh, we'll see what Kelly's prompt is for us for then. Be sure and check her out. Um, check out the hashtag Trovember, and um, I will tag her below so you can find her, and um, we'll just go from there. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.